Welcome, beloved brothers and sisters, to my channel. This is uh, my little humble abode, my what I'm hoping to be my little ministry. Hi, my name is Anna or Anya. My channel is all about, predominantly about my own experiences with me and my walk with learning Heavenly Father's name, learning to be obedient, failing at a lot of things, just like many of us being sometimes unwillfully disobedient, not knowing that I'm disobedient, which of course it still happens uh, often, but nowhere near as often as it was even six months ago or even three months ago as walking in obedience simply means you're doing your best every day and praying without ceasing means that basically you have a kind of like a schedule you know every day where you will be a certain things that you're just going to write them down because it's difficult after you stressed out you have a full day of work and crazy kids or a wife or a husband whatever running after you or boss and you come home and you still want to make lord jesus christ of nazareth number one and of course uh, we simply forget we're only human so father has always from the beginning was teaching me how to write things down how to use different color post knits such as I'm gonna show you right so you see I told you all those things are are supposed to be for different things originally they were but now it's so it's basically as I'm praying some things you know I don't want to look crazy and insane but ultimately I don't care this is my bedroom. I'm the only one here. My daughter sometimes is also here, but very rarely. She almost is never in Philadelphia with me anymore. Um, frankly, I believe because of me praying so much, uh, because I was uh, so um, so often uh, attacked and prosecuted by literally demonic entities when she was here in order for me to protect her and for those attachments not to be transferred from me onto her. I was fighting spiritual warfare in front of her. I was praying, speaking with authority in front of my daughter. You got to do what you got to do. If that's what father will allow her to be away from me, um, that there, I just, uh, I want her to be with me. I love her. But remember, ultimately, Jesus Christ of Nazareth must be number one in our lives because if the, there will be a time and a place, and especially if you are, if this goes to you, brothers and sisters who are getting divorced or who are now maybe in the process of being separated or getting isolated and you are still in that uh, stage of being depressed and fighting your own, uh, sort of speak, demons, right? Your own addictions, devils, and maybe you're just coming out of it and you are new to praying and new to spiritual warfare. E even if this is nothing new to you, remember that you can, you will find a lot of helpful information on my channel. My channel is all about my walk with Jesus Christ of Nazareth and different discoveries and breakthroughs that I describe in as much detail as I possibly can because we are now, today, just now, Fire Philadelphia is under many fireworks, helicopters left and right, police sirens left and right. Uh, Joe Biden uh, was announced a winner and New York City and here in Philadelphia, at least New York City, they've been showing on uh, in my search engine that uh, at at our 13:51, Joe Biden was pronounced the official president here in, at least in New York City. I think in Times Square it was where they've done it on that big screen and I know a jumbo monitor. So my point is, that's the time I should have actually made a video about this, but that's the time that Father has given me three or four or five times over a period of past week or so and i didn't know that this was the hour i thought this was just for the word to be looked up in strong score accordance i looked it up it didn't really go with anything that i was doing so i figured it was the two separate numbers which by the way they still um uh, do make sense but i'm going to tell you one thing um uh, one of the trump sort of cards was number 31 sort of speak so 13 13 could be technically it's a perfect reflection of 31 right 13 reverses 31 but 51 adds up i'm going to tell you right off the top of my head it means it means um a feast 
who's waiting for the feast? Us, the bride. So I believe that we, at this point, we are very close to be raptured. We're very close to the third seal being broken. And please go all watch all my videos on that topic. I am here to tell you something very interesting. As you know, you watch my previous videos on on Biden, you know, and on President Trump, I told you that President Trump will win. I still stand by it. I know what Father has showed me. My question was, who wins? It was Trump who ultimately will hold the office because of the corrupted government. That's a different question. And Father has told me where the tempering has been done. And by the way, since then, Father has also revealed to me what, what were the turning primary places where the uh, additional votes were added on while they were taken away from another candidate. And they had many different variations of what they wanted to do. This is why in the speed realm, I was going back and forth over the period of two days because they were trying to make uh, appropriate decisions. At this point, I remember the enemy didn't care how ridiculous it looks, how are we going to look as American citizens. Um, basically, they think of us as clowns at this point, I want to tell you people. So we're not clowns. We're intelligent people. We serve Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the Holy Ghost and Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself, creator of this world, earth, this plane, earth called Earth, has told his children what exactly what was to come, and this is exactly what has happened. And we have accounted it for it all. Please, brothers and sisters, don't be angry. Don't get upset. This, this is our Father's holy divine will. Father has told me that his, everything is his decision. Do you understand? He's in control of everything, and you must trust that, that if he wanted this to be, and since then, he revealed to me, because I've made so many videos, I said, well, Father, now I'm going to look like a forced prophet. He says, he says, no, your question was still, who wins? He still won. And he won by much more than Biden. The point is that, you know, we have tremendous corruption, corruption that had eight years to lodge itself itself in from, you know, from, uh, from the highest levels all the way to the mailman on your street. So with this being said, remember the truth in Hebrew, I'm going to teach you something right now. So t learn this. The truth in Hebrew is the word emet. Emet consists of a letter aleph, open mem, letter mem, and tav. Aleph is the first letter of the alphabet. Mem is the in the middle of the alphabet. And Taf is the last letter of the alphabet. Do you understand? So truth, when Father says, I am the truth, the beginning and the end. So here you can sort of speak like, to know the truth, you have to know the beginning, the middle, and the end. To see the whole entire truth, such as in this situation when you pray, you must ask to see the beginning, the middle, and the end. You can ask for that, and it might be granted to you depending on where you are with Jesus Christ of Nazareth in your walk with him. A lot of those prophetic things are being shown to us, whether to, to you, maybe in your dreams. I barely ever get dreams, but I'm being, I simply know those things. I wake up and I just know them. They're as if engraved on my heart through prayer, worship, even crying, consolations for the world, for the people, for our families who are still want to be lukewarmers. That's about all to be changed because remember, this will rush us now into full-blown judgments. The United States will be go and false prophets fully into judgments. Israel is soon to be judged also right after that. Then the moment Israel is judged so they can come to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, remember that then the Bible says it is um, that United States gets assaulted and attacked. With this being said, if the truth in Hebrew means emet, and God is represented by the letter Aleph, the first letter of the alphabet, that Aleph, that means an ox, right? So photograph this if you can. So Emet, truth, minus letter Aleph, which means God, equals Met. In Hebrew, Met. It means death. So again, I repeat, truth minus God is death. Again, the, tr the word truth in Hebrew letters adds up to the number 441. So the letter, the letter Aleph is number one, Mem is number 40, and Tav is 400. That's 
441. Backwards is 144. So 144,000 stand for what? For their truth. Now, I'm going to tell you something really quickly. I'm going to make an individual show about this. Joe Biden, do this for me. Year 2020 divided by 666. And look in a Biden's phone number, which was 30. 33 and 0. Look at his name, Biden, on that logo. You will sit bid on the triple scratches of 